EDP is actually following a bunch of random teenage girls on IG. Now, I know some of these say 18 and 19, but still. Bro, okay, let's be honest, man. He ain't getting with none of these girls, bro. Like, 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 bro, like. So, EDP got exposed again. Like, bro, it's like, I'm not even surprised. I was the again at first, but now, like, there's an again again. Uh, the girl he was talking to, she was 17, apparently. Let's see. And she goes, oh, oh yeah, you gotta give him that hot tour and spit on that thing, you get me? <laughs> it's funny when I saw that. God, you ain't funny, cause <laughs> only ladies say that shit. When you're dealing with trolls, when, you, when you're dealing with people on the internet who can just leave a comment and just run off to the scurries of their own, you know, hiding spots, is that there's no reconciling with these motherfuckers. There's no getting through to them. There's no, you know, trying to get these people to understand um, where you are at at that point in time in your life. You know, addressing what happened a few years ago, the whole incident and stuff like that. I'll be the first person to tell you, I was in a very dark place in my life. Very dark place. EDP 445 just got exposed again. These past two months, I made a couple videos on EDP. One speaking about his return to YouTube for the 20th time trying to evade a ban, and the next talking about him begging for another chance, basically trying to redeem himself. Which he proceeded to blame Yo, shift. Yo, is this a Death Note remix? Hold up, that's kinda, this kinda goes hard. And not completely own up to his mistakes. EDP said that he spoke to his closest friends and family and then started therapy for his issue with speaking to minors. The only thing that you can do as a human being when you make a mistake to this magnitude is to take responsibility for your actions, take accountability for your actions, understand that there is an issue, right? Understand that this is not normal. You know what I mean? To have these type of behaviors, they are not normal, right? Get the necessary help, whether it's talking to a psychiatrist, talking to a therapist, um, you know, it could even be it could even be as simple as talking down to your I'm sorry, sitting down and talking to your family members. I said that people like him were not redeemable, stating that they would continue to do the same thing sooner or later. And I stand on that point. For the five EDP fanboys left, you support a sick man. I was told Oh no, there's so many EDP fanboys, bro. I literally have like there was an account that was like commenting on like a bunch of my EDP catches. And then like a fan page account, bro. Like, I literally had to block them, man. Like, this is getting ridiculous. What does it say? You're wrong and extremely uneducated. Many people can rehabilitate from just about anything. Not all, but most. Across all issues, their thoughts are irrelevant unless they take action. No one knows what a person is thinking, so that doesn't matter. Rehabilitation is a process that has proven results as far as EDP goes. He's a weirdo, however. What's the point of harassing him damn near four years later? It's my opinion. I didn't say it was fact. All the education. I told that I was wrong by these same people in my comments typing paragraphs about it. EDP himself actually commented on my video. Ninja, how am I begging? I swear, UMFers will do anything to get clout off my name. Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, at this point, it's like us reacting to this stuff is giving you clout. You should be thankful. Video calling me a clout chaser. And I just saw this today, too. His channel was so small, he doesn't even have a verification mark that I didn't even notice. My video definitely struck a nerve and it pierced his mental. I don't make videos solely for the sake of views. I just have fun talking to myself on the internet. And I just so happen to talk about trending topics with the views just following. We know how this YouTube shit works. Like I said, it was only a matter of time before EDP fell back into his old ways if he didn't do it already. And lo and behold, I was right. The other day, my boy SSW uploaded a video titled, I caught a predator and told his football team about it, EDP 445. And in this video, he exposes EDP for being in an Instagram group chat with a 17 year old girl and her friends. This is gonna sound crazy, but I was in a group chat with my friends and EDP. And I was like, my God, there is no way she's being serious right now. And I want you guys to keep in mind, this girl is actually 17 years old, right? So that means her friends are most likely like around her age as well, right? But before I could even talk about this, I mean, I needed some proof that she was actually being serious. But then she started sending me screenshots. EDP sent a text into this group chat saying that he was on the toilet or something. Listen, first of all, my nigga TMI, like no one even wanted to know about it. Right? But then some girl replied to him and said, tell this fat ass to get off the toilet. And I want you guys to keep in mind, the girl that said that is actually a child. And then he replied and said, yeah, 
and then poo right inside of your mouth. Why don't you lay on your back and let me stand over you so I can release this poo? <laughs> My nigga, what am I reading, man? What the f am Bro, did he just make a video talking about like how he was being lured and stuff and how people would like DM him and everything and how minors would come to him? And like, he was like, I, was like, I don't want to come to the minors, the minors are coming to me. But it's like, bro, you're you're responding to the minors, bro. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> am I reading? Wait, did he say that minors who try to set him up or other people up to get exposed should be given some sort of punishment and that is considered to be malicious intent? They are literally 13, no. 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, you know what I mean? DMing me, hitting me up on Instagram and they'll type this message and they'll be all like, Oh my God, are you the real EDP? And the moment I respond with, yes, I am. Oh, why do you, in the situation that you're in, why do you need to respond? First off, that is a very shiny milk dud. But like, why, 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 why do you feel the need to respond? Oh, I'm 14. Screenshot. Let's go ahead and tag Jideon and let's go ahead and tag and Skeeter John or whatever the f his name is obviously adults should be held accountable i also feel minors should get in trouble for messaging adults you feel me having a very malicious intent behind their messages but you directly place yourself in a situation for the exact thing that you fear to happen make it make sense bro why are you even interacting with minors online in the first bro man i know this would be a crazy com a comparison but like, this is the same, I, okay, it's not the same, but that would, it would be along the same lines of a guy who has been known for having sex with women that are under the influence and can't verbally consent. That would be the same as that guy being like, I feel like the guy who has sex with women who can't verbally consent when they're under the influence should be in trouble. But I also feel that the women under the influence who are also doing the same exact thing with them should be also in trouble as well. Like, like, bro, it's like, you're saying the victim should be in trouble? Like, come on. A bitch can talk shit about me, but the moment I say some shit back, all of a sudden I'm in the wrong. You know what I mean? Here we go with this victim playing shit. Oh, you can't say that to me. You can't talk shit back, even though I'm the mother that started it. I'm a minor. Oh, okay, bitch, so you can talk shit. But I can't talk shit back. All right, cool. Well, shit, since you want to talk shit, be funny and troll my EDP, what do you think of <laughs> Oh, my God. Bro, like, bro, I'm not giving a live chat. Sometimes I forget I'm a YouTuber, bro. Like, genuinely... Like, I, I actually be forgetting I'm a YouTuber sometimes. Like, I just be feeling like I'm still on the grind, just like a dude on the camera. <laughs> Shit, I got you on that, little bitch. Now, I know a lot of y'all may think this is tame compared to a lot of the screenshots we've seen from EDP in the past, but it gets worse. EDP is actually following a bunch of random teenage girls on IG. Now, I know some of these say 18 and 19, but still, I still think it's weird. Like, isn't that nigga in his mid-30s? But yeah, from the looks of this, he's definitely scoping out his next prey. The man is... Bro, okay, let's be honest, man. He ain't getting with none of these girls, bro. Like, 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 bro, like, I'm not gonna lie. EDP is dangerous, but like... This dude is so, like, he is actually, like, the most unsuccessful groomer slash predator I've ever seen, man. Like, when I tell you, like, this man, like, he, he, he just needs to be put in jail for his stupidity and his crimes as well, but mostly his stupidity never gonna learn then ssw dm the eagles ig account to let them know who supports their team and even went as far as mailing them a notice of the same thing i wrote out a whole letter talking about who he is with his face and everything and i made sure to let them know make sure you ban this nigga from any eagles game do not let this guy bro it's crazy man we got this dude to the super bowl because his mom died we got this dude to the super bowl because his mom died man that was one of the most iconic moments in internet history bro if you if you know you know and i made sure to let them know make sure you ban this nigga from any eagles game do not let this guy show his face at all so then i went to the post office yeah how much is it to send a letter to usa 
Okay. And then I shipped it off to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, everything we've seen so far from this man points to him not changing at all. Like, he was literally in a group chat telling minors that he defecate in their mouth. And a YouTuber by the name of Plubus even called him R. Belly. Uh, dude, you're literally talking to a minor about this. Do you know how R. Kelly is all about peeing on minors? Well, R. Belly over here is all about shitting on minors. Plubus actually makes a good point about EDP trying to relate to a younger generation because he mentioned the Hawk to a girl. This is something that predators do, and it's like an undercover cop trying to catch the local drug dealer. Like, it's obvious you don't belong here. One thing I don't understand is begging for another chance but putting yourself in the same position to either get framed or exposed again. But as I expected, you're just a lonely creep that can't get enough of being around minors. I want to be friends with everybody, but you can't. You know what I mean? Because most of these motherfuckers are in like, you know, high school and um. Bro, with, with this same logic, man, you know, I don't think EDP is gay, even though, you know, if he knows 300 porn star women, like who knows how many porn star men he knows, but that's a different thing. But he's not gay. So like, why, why, why do all your friends have to be young women? You know what I mean? If, if you want to be friends with everybody, why, 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 why no 13, 15 year old boys? And I, that's weird too. Don't get me wrong, but like, why is it always girls you gotta be friends with? Why does it always have to be young females? 21, 22, 23, well, whatever. The f I want to be cool with everybody. Mother, f I'm 33. I'll be 34 in December. You know what I mean? Me being 33 and trying to be friends with a mother who's like. 19, 20, 21, like, my nigga. Oh, uh, I think he misspoke. You know, 12, 11, 10. Like, we are in two different worlds, nigga, the way that we f***ing think, you know? <coughs> um, two different universes, you Thank know? Thank you, Orlando, um, for that pride, so young, don't really know sh about the world. Little snag a tooth, buck too fast, mother You know what I mean? Don't know what it's like to pay bills. Don't know what it's like to pay f***ing rent. Couldn't be bothered to give a sh about going out getting a job so it's like yeah that's pretty much it man yeah like granted i mean i wouldn't say he was exposed again bro man it's just like it's, it's a pattern that really needs looking into bro like it's just like bro why are you even responding to these group chats man it's like like when would you learn your lesson old man